to round two of the Celsius Sharks Ultimate Showdown. My name is Gareth Jenkinson. I am your host. We're on a quest to find out who has the brains in the Sharks. Is it the forwards or is it the backs? Uh, last week, it was the backs that took the very first episode of the Ultimate Showdown. Uh, Lukanya Amanku and Bosch took it in a tiebreaker. Would you believe it? <laughs> So how we're going to actually do this now, guys, just to uh, before I introduce you, is we're going to be playing for an overall score across the three episodes. So this is episode two. So hopefully the forwards can get one back and get, get the forwards back in the game and win today. But at the end of the three episodes, we're going to tally up the total score of everything from the 30 questions, 60, 90 questions across uh, the three episodes. And then we're going to ultimately decide who has the brains in the Celsius Sharks outfit. So today, representing the forwards, two giants of rugby, two Springboks, one a World Cup winner. We've got Thomas Detoy and Oxen Chair. It's great to have you guys with us. And then the backs. We've got the hard-running, hard-hitting center, Marius Lowe. Sure. And then the weekend special, the rising star, Apelele Fassi. Last week was a rugby quiz. So the first round was actually probably a lot easier than this because this is going to test general knowledge of South Africa. So it's going to be everything to do with South Africa, from music to TV shows to some sports, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. So just a little bit of an icebreaker so you guys understand what the rules are. I'm going to ask you a question, and then the first team to hit the little buzzer on the table gets to answer the question. If you get it wrong, the other guys will get a chance to answer the question. If they get it wrong, no one gets the point, and we move on to the next question. So it's pretty simple. If you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. I'll put you guys out of your misery. It's that simple. Okay, so let's, let's do a little icebreaker and see how you guys go. I'm also going to start a timer every time, so we'll have 30 seconds. So we'll, we'll keep okay. it moving as we go. So just the, the icebreaker question. What is the national flower of South Africa? There we go. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Fussy showing his skill there nice and early. So that is exactly how it's going to work, guys. Ask a question, hit the buzzer if you know, have a crack. If you don't know, the other team will get a shot. We'll move on from there. Cool. Okay, so we got 30 questions. We're going to go through 15, have a quick half time break, and then the next 30. And then if we're on another tiebreaker, which we could, you never know what's going to happen, then we'll go to a tiebreak question. Simple as that. No peeking there, Ox. I see your eyes yeah, wandering can... already. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? I saw you. you. Trying to have a little, trying over trying there. Have a little check there. <laughs> it's right there. No, I'm actually going to pull this a little bit closer here. Okay, so uh, first question of the proudly South African quiz. How many, uh, how many colors are there on the South African flag? Six. Thomas? Six is correct. There we go. So first blood to the forwards. One. Okay. Question number two. How many provinces are there in South Africa? Nine. Nine. How many tries have you scored in Super Rugby this year? Seven. Oh, seven. Okay, so you're a little bit behind there. Okay, so it's one one. Question number three. What is the capital of KwaZulu Natal? Marius? Durban. Um, no. Forwards, what is the capital of Bangani? <laughs> <laughs> the capital of KwaZulu Natal is in fact Peter Marinsburg. No one gets Ooh. that point. Huh. Oh, guys, we gotta send you back to school there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Who went to school in KwaZulu Natal? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we'll forgive you. We'll forgive you. Okay. Question number four. Who sang the official song "The World in Union" at the 1995 Rugby World Cup? Start the timer. This, this is going to be one of those multiple I choice. You, I don't even know how to give you a, <laughs> a, clue. a, a clue for this. It's a lady. Uh, it's, a, it's a woman. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a clue. Yeah. Um, Can I try? Go ahead. <laughs> Yvonne Chaka Chaka. That's maybe. not a bad guess, but it's not Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Do the backs have anything? Weekend special. Come on, mate. <laughs> I don't actually know. No. Okay, no one gets that point. We're going to move on. The answer really is PJ are. Powers. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't think of a, <laughs> any, any hint to give you guys there. Question number five. When is Heritage Day celebrated in South Africa? What date? The backs had it first? No. Din -din. He's just had a crack, but he doesn't know what the answer is. Isn't it 16 June? Oh, yeah, yeah. September. What day? Do 
the 24th. 24th is correct! No, what? Fine, mate. Yes, hey, that was good! Suck I was, guys, I, didn't know, I wouldn't have known no. that. If I was you, I would not have known that. How did you inky pinky pull it? No, no, that's not right, and there we go. Hey, okay, question number six. Who sings the song John Cena? It's a recent hit. Forwards? Show my jewels. Get in. <laughs> there we go. You guys needed that. All right. Um, question number seven. I'm a male model, a presenter, business owner, and one of the most sought after names in the South African entertainment industry. My dad was a famous South African soccer player and became a popular soccer analyst. Who am I? He also owns a kitchen, uh, uh, a very, a very well-known restaurant. That is correct. Nice. Did I give it away with the, the restaurant at the end? No. Was it, was it the no, everything else? Yeah. They're just you. <laughs> no, it's fussy. Yes, I'm glad. There we go. Very good. Right. Jeez. Okay, the backs have inched ahead again. Question number eight. Which South African music group has won five Grammy Awards? Group. Mm -hmm. It's... Lady Smith, Black Mamba. That is no correct. Way. Get in there, Ox. That's oh, fantastic. Geez. That's, that's, that's very cool. Hey. They, they sing like I like it. I okay. Didn't, I didn't even know them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it's them. Question number nine. The largest, this is, a, this is a tough one. The largest ever rough gem quality diamond was found in South Africa in 1905. It was cut up and now forms part of the crown jewels of England. Like part of like the jewels that the queen wears. <laughs> yeah, so you know, it's part of those. Yeah, what was the original diamond called? You? <laughs> <laughs> the Pink Panther. No, and they could have called it this. No, uh, the, no, the forwards yeah. got a guess there. Just like it. It's a big diamond, guys. It's like a, a huge thing. Mm. Think think of um, think of Kimberley. towns. Kimberley. Yeah, yeah, like mm. close to Kimberley. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to put you guys out of your misery. No one gets a point there. It's the Cullinan diamond. And it was cut up into different pieces. One of them's like in the crown scepter. One of them's literally in the, the crown that the queen wears as well. Yo, big, big diamond. All right, question number 10. We've got five questions before we take a little break. What year did Bafana Bafana win the African Cup of Nations? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1996. Oh, fussy. 1996. 1996 is correct. Ox, yes. what did you do? <laughs> You're sitting there waiting. No, no, no. Oh, did you not have the yeah. right date? Okay, 1996 nice was fussy. correct. Jeez. Question number 11. South Africa is home to the highest bungee jump in the world. What is it called? Blowcrans. Blowcrans is correct. The backs get another one. Let's go. Quick to the draw there. <laughs> okay, question number 12. Which race did Wade for Niekirk take gold in to set a new Olympic record at the 2016 Olympic Games? Marius? 400 meters. The 400 meters is correct. Yo, the backs are inching ahead here. Yeah. Some oaks. <laughs> okay. We knew it. Yeah, I, yeah, I just I was it. waiting for the full for question. No. Wait, if you think you know what it is, just smash it. Okay, question number 13. What is the name of the biggest game reserve in South Africa? The back squatted first. Kruger National yeah. Park. Kruger National Park is correct. You guys are just going to have to start whacking yeah. on later. <laughs> okay, question number 14. What precious metal was discovered in Johannesburg in the late 1800s? Marius. Gold. <laughs> Gold is correct. Yo. Yo. That is, that <laughs> is we'll, we'll, we'll check out what the score is just now. It's not looking I good. I don't even know. That is good. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Question number 15, the last one before half time. Uh, this is actually for two points. Whoa. What famous medical procedure was first ever performed in South Africa? Marius. Heart surgery. First heart uh, transplant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heart 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 transplant. Heart, heart surgery is not the same as a heart transplant. I, heart transplant. I, I, I corrected myself. He corrected himself. I'm, I'm going to give it to him. Bonus uh, point if you know the name. Uh, Chris Barnard. I get them. In the uh, forwards get one. Uh, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to Thomas. There we go. Okay, so guys, it's half time. In the Grote Skier. There Here we go. Correct. <laughs> one it's only point. two. It's only two. <laughs> <laughs> From the break, it is the second half, and it is the backs that are leading the forwards nine points to four. There's five points in this. I'm going to say that's at least two tries in rugby in rugby terms. So, 
The forwards, oh, they've got some work to do. They're going to have to start kicking I'm for the so corner. Forward. They're going to have to start trying. <laughs> <point. laughs> hey. It's one what? try. It's one try. Okay. <laughs> not even. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay, so five points in it. Convert to try. The forwards are back in the game. We've got 15 questions left. Question number one in the second half. Who is the lead singer of Mango Groove? <laughs> Even I know this one. Groove. It was Mango Groove. That's the question. Mango Groove, guys. Really? No. I will leave them to doozy or something. <laughs> 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 oh. And you know what? The funny thing is, the lead singer of Mango Groove lives in KZN. So um, we're going to have to... Navashni, we're going to have to get her here to, to help these guys out. To her. At least give them a, a private uh, performance. Do the, no. the backs have any guesses? No? Okay. The lead singer of Mango Groove is Claire Johnston. Oh, sure. She's quite famous, guys. Mm. We'll, we'll forgive you. Okay. Yeah. Question number 17. <laughs> Where is the South African TV series Uzalo filmed? Pasi? Um, in, it's in... It's in Durban, but... Um, That'll do. Yeah. That's it? It's in Durban. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There there we go. Well done. I thought okay, you were talking about the town or something. The backs have extended their lead already. Okay, question number 18. This is, this is an easy one. Which South African sang the famous song Nkalagata? Oh, oh, come on. oh there we go. Get in. Okay, the forwards. Back in it. We still have five points, though. You guys need to score a try very quickly. Uh, what name? What was the name of the sci-fi movie set in Johannesburg where a large alien ship appears above the city and aliens become refugees in Johannesburg? District 9. District 9 is correct, Marius. Well you did. <laughs> oh, no, no. Did you guys know that, that one? That is good. No, I did. I love that movie. The unboard. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Okay, question number 20. Which ex South African cricketer is known by the nickname Zulu? Ooh. Ox. Oh. <laughs> if you get it wrong, the bank's going to chance, yeah. so you got to have a crack. I don't know. I don't know how I can give this away. And you know what? Uh, Fittingly, today is the day I'll go, I'll go. Um, where a really bad thing happened for the Proteas and he was involved. Uh, yeah. Say something, Ox, so I, I can. Know. Can I say? Yeah. Okay, do you guys forfeit your gear? Yeah. Valentini? No! No! Okay, so wrong, no one wrong, got it right. No, yeah, I'm going to be fair here because you guys didn't get it correct. You guys got it wrong. It's Lance Kluzner. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> he played Dolphins, eh? Yeah. yeah. He also he was coach of the Dolphins a few years ago as well. Okay, question number 21. Durban was visited by this famous explorer in 1497. What is his name? Vasco da Gama. That is correct, Marius. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> some <laughs> knowledge here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, question number 22. This mountain is one of the most popular places for tourists in South Africa. <laughs> Who rang it first? Uh, Marius. Uh, Table Mountain. Table Mountain is correct. You guys, I'm Thomas, he's hitting it. Okay, okay, let, let's right. be fair. Okay, let's say from now on, let, let me finish okay. the question, then you guys can hit the thing, because I'm okay. feeling very bad now. <laughs> All right, okay, question number 23. Which South African soccer player was named the captain of Leeds United in 1998? Correct. Basi, nice. weekend special. Nice, he hasn't scored many tries today, but that was a crucial one. <laughs> I'd slow, bro. Okay, question number 24. For which province did John T. Rhodes make his first class cricket debut? <laughs> Basi. Um, you said province or province? province yeah. Can I tell? Titans. That is incorrect. Oh. That's not a province, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but a Pro okay, team. province slash team. franchise okay. is okay, but it's not. It's wrong anyway. KZN? KZN is yeah. great. <laughs> there we go. It's a wild guess. <laughs> you guys needed nice that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, question number 25. What is the name of the South African-born actress who won an Oscar award? Shell. Mm. Yes, yeah, yeah. Pertor. What's here? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you're right, we must Yes, yes okay. that is correct. Yeah, you must. Thomas is like, stop talking. Yeah, it's like, no. <laughs> 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 
Okay, question number 26. Let me finish the question. Who scored South Africa's first goal at the 2010 Soccer World Cup? Shabalala. Give it to the forwards. It's Imperial Shabalala. There we go. <laughs> hey, they're coming back here. Okay. Don't ignore the scoreboard. Just focus on the question. <laughs> Spiel for thoughts. It's like getting yeah. to the 75th minute of the game. You know, it's probably out of reach, but you've got to keep playing. Okay, question number 27. How many official languages are there in South Africa? Forwards? The question wasn't finished. Yeah? But what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have I'm a scrum. I'm joking. I'm joking. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven is correct. I love how now you've had to go and check with Thomas every day. Thank you, sure. Okay, question number twenty-eight. How many gold medals did What's swimmer this? Penny Haynes win at the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games? Passy? Five. That is incorrect. Forwards. Take your turns. Four. Two. Two? No. Two. What? What? Yes, yes, it's your machine. <laughs> it's like, Oops. ignores Thomas that time and just goes for it. Okay, we've got two questions there. Firstly, that was in 1996. When were you guys born? 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 14, I, think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I reckon the last question can be like for three points. Yeah, we'll give it for three points. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's for another time right there. <laughs> okay, question number 30. Which South African beat Michael Phelps in the 200 meter butterfly at the London Olympic Games? It wasn't Back. finished. It wasn't finished. That's true, actually. It Forwards have a crack? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is not. Give him a Chad Leclerc. Chad Leclerc is correct. There we go. Well, three points, <laughs> Orcs niche, all of them. <laughs> All right, it is full time here at Johnson Kings Park and round two of the Salsi Sharks Ultimate Showdown. The backs win round two, 14 points to 12. The forwards have taken another L. But let's, let's just make it clear that it's that doesn't mean that it's 2-1 no. with no. the final leg to come and the backs have won. That's not how it works at all. They are 2-0 two, two up. But we are going to tally the scores up at the end of the three rounds. So as it stands, the backs have a slight three-point lead, 28 and a half points to 25 and a half points. So next week is going to be the decider, the series decider. Get in. Cheers. <laughs> That's gone. I've known Ox since, I don't know, like since I was like primary school. Um, and I've played against Thomas also many a times and we've been at the Sharks for some time. So I think uh, I know who I was up against. It was some good competition, but I think at the end of the day, um, the backs got into their heads and then, uh, yeah, no, we pulled it through. Coming from uh, a school uh, from Dell College, you know, you learn uh, banter as well. You learn things like that um, from the heritage days and the history of, of um, that I've learned at school. You know, um, getting an answer, knowing exactly when I got the, <laughs> the when Heritage Day is, you know, well, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, obviously, this this one was definitely rigged. Um, the the questions were given to the backs beforehand because uh, I think they think quick on their feet, but uh, yeah, they don't. So um, no, it, it was actually uh, lots of fun. Uh, I think we really enjoyed it. Uh, I think if it, the, the rules were explained to the backs a bit better, uh, it, it would have been a much more challenging uh, experience for both of us. Like Thomas has said before, like I don't think the rules were properly explained to the backs. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty evident on the field as well. <laughs> they don't understand some rules. They just don't understand. <laughs> so yeah. We, we, we expected them to uh, play a bit dirty as well, so. And I uh, hear yeah, that they were a bit disappointed that they, we didn't have any fashion questions, but <laughs> it's not, uh, we're just gonna give them a head start and uh, finish it off strong as usual.